Gentlemen, for our next fight of the evening, we would like to call... I'd like to invite to the cage, David Nicaccio Almayo. David Almayo, representing the Ethiopian community of Israel. He's a heart of a lion, all-round fighter. He's ready for this fight. I've watched him uh, in his last uh, few fights. He's got five wins, one loss. And I'm excited to see him tonight. That fees they curved the kid back then when I was so lit. Now I'm lit, they're pissed, told bro, bro. Now you gotta take it slow, but he knows crap. Picking bomb. A pick bull that hasn't been fed for a month. David Alamayo. MMA Open, UFC Fight Pass. What a night. It's an amazing night. The first time that uh, MMA Open in Israel is being broadcasted live in the UFC Fight Pass. The world is watching us, man. The world is watching us. The world is watching all of us Israeli fighters. The world is watching the fight from in international bouts. It is amazing. Now we can see David is entering the ring. He's holding the, he's holding the flag up and he's back the Israeli flag. He's pumping the crowd. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Israel is on the map. You can see that he carries the Israeli flag and it seems that there's another flag attached to it and it seems like an Ethiopian one. And both flags. Yeah. And uh, all his corner men are, are wearing uh, balaclavas. Oh, my God. 
Both of the fighters have six matches under the belt. David has one loss. Alexei has all wins. And every question is if they is going to time. Look at the face of David. He's getting ready for the match. All pumped up. Entering the bout. Like so many warriors before him, rolling in, making notice that he has entered the bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co main event of the evening. The UFC fight past night. This is the bantamweight division up to 61 kilograms. Coming from the blue corner, 170 centimeters tall, weighing in 67.4 kilograms, with a complete record, six wins, no losses. This man is an MMA fighter, come from Badichev, Ukraine. He's 25 years old, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kavaych Alexei. In the red corner, 170 centimeters tall, weighing in 57.4 kilograms. His record is five wins, one loss. He's coming from Spirit, Moshik Ben Shimol Box. He's an MMA fighter coming all the way from Beersheba, Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, Indicacho, David Almayo. What is stare down between the referee is Ofer Lida. What is stare down between David and uh, Omer? <laughs> a stare down between the fighter and the announcer. Both guys look crazy ripped. No touch gloves, no nothing. They just go for it. Mm. Nice counter, low kick, another kick. In the clinch, good clinch by, oh, Mate. by the Ukrainian from the Ukrainian he's putting him on the fence and he's maneuvering his head in order to gain advantage now David just broke the clinch and came back to the middle of the ring none of the fighters in the ring seems they to care too much about the other guy they came in to win after a miss Alexei just brushing in and David just answered him Nice swipe. It's a thinking game. Where you got to think quick. Well, he's going for. Well, he tried to go for an anaconda, but he didn't do it. David was able to break the, his takedown more than once, and now he took down Alexei. He just broke his the, the takedown defense of Alexei. Was amazing, and they're back on the feet. And again, he's trying to take him down, and Alexei is putting David in the clinch. An amazing elbow from the clinch, and Alexei doesn't let go. Another, another kick, and another time that he grabs the leg and try. A low blow, and what amazing switch of punches. Two hooks that connected, the right and the left. 
Aynen. The coach is uh, telling David to look for the kick for the uh, foot. Switching, switching stance. Switching stances went to deliver, but it didn't seem that Alexei could. He's again, both of them standing orthodox, and the corner of David is keep on yelling at him. Swipe the leg, sweep the leg, and he's getting close, and again the clinch. They are over and under now. And you can see that uh, Alexei is driving David to the cage, but David doesn't let go. He's trying to play with his head, and he just, both of them just took a great elbow on their opponents. This is a grand stand up fight. What an explosive uh, hook that uh, David just missed if he would have. Got it. If he would have tagged his opponent, his head might have just popped out. You can see that Alexa is trying to pull the leg and take the feet out. And you can hear the crowd is bringing it up. Wow, the leg down by the sweep. What an amazing sweep! If he's going for the for the he's going for the elbows, and Alexa is just keeping on and standing up. What a oh, knee to the head! What a knee to the head! Sharp. It's getting bloody in there. I'm not sure whose blood. They stand in uh, over under, and uh, you can see that David is uh, owning this. He's putting uh, oh, what an elbow! What an amazing explosive elbow! He tried to do a back elbow and missed. And again, he's chopping the leg of Alexa. What an explosive. He took him down. He's taking that. What a sprawl. And, this is, and he's standing up. He doesn't let him go. And now he's going for the guilty. But David worked out. They are again in over under. And you can see that David knows how to grapple. He just tried to trip him, an inside trip. And again, went to the elbow and missed. What? That's fierce, David. Nothing connects with the Russian. Great defense by uh, David. You can see that even when uh, Alexei tried to put uh, double under for David, like Greg Roman, he tries to pull him up. He doesn't let him to stop it. And again, and this is the second time in this, in this evening that we have a second round. It was an amazing, amazing round. It went back and forth. You cannot say that someone is the winner of the match. And you can see that uh, David has the heart of a lion. One thing is for sure, everyone in the crowd and everyone that's watching us in the UFC Fight Pass Live and when they're going to see it recorded, is going to be going to feel that the money was worthy. The show is worth everything. You can see that all the fighters did what they had to do. You can see that the uh, beats corner, you can see Moshe Keida. And as we said, we earlier said that uh, Moshik has grown generations over generations of fighters and having him in your corner is a uh, is real advantage. I might add that I had uh, Moshik in my corner <laughs> a couple of years back. I'm wondering what's the uh, strategy uh, like former uh, fighters said, my strategy is to win. I'm going to kick, I'm going to punch, I'm going to submit, I'm going to win. And you can see that both guys uh, believe in this strategy. And now he's again on orthodox. You can see that uh, David has switched to South Point. He just slipped now and he's trying to close the guillotine. What a knee to the head. 
But David, you can see that David knows what to do, how to push him out and not let him enclose the, the guillotine. And actually David is out and now the try to, uh, to spinning back uh, elbow. Doesn't seem that it entered. It was a body shot that uh, almost tagged. He tried to trip him, but David won the trip. And the Ukrainian guy, Alexei, is trying, trying to go to his back. And he's holding his legs. Should he go to... He can go. If, he, if he's able to roll now, he'll be able to go to knee bar. But he just got his leg out. He's in half guard. No. Somewhere between half guard and uh, side mount. You can see that he's using a knee shield. A knee, sh knee shield in again. And it seems that he keeps his hand off, the, off his face. He's guarding. And uh, he's putting down some elbows on uh, David's face. Now hear the crowd chanting David. And you do know that being in the ring and hear all the crowd pumping and chanting your name adds you up some fuel, it just gives you some fuel and uh, you don't want to send them home sad. And you can see that David made up and now he's turning around, he's trying to take it. Few punches. You can see that uh, Alexa is trying to, to hit, he's throwing punches, but he's not really able to make any damage. And David is using his hand as a frame. He's trying to sweep him or he's trying to catch his arm, but uh, he's slippery, all the sweat is slippery. And you can see that every time that uh, Alexa is trying to, to throw a punch, David is able to minimize the damage. He gave him his back and he almost past the, uh, the half guard, but you can see the legs of uh, David. He's not letting him do that. Now, now he was tagged in his face. You can hear David's corner and telling him that he should underhook Alexei, but you know that when you're inside the ring, even if you can hear your coach saying something, you sometimes you're too tired you're too slow, you're too slippery. And David is able to go on the side of his back again. Well, it, it seems that uh, Alexa is throwing lots of punches, but almost none of them enters. Now he's going for the back. This is the first time in a few minutes that uh, Alexei's punches actually can cause damage. But David is trying to sit up, and they're rolling together. Oh! David got up! Oh my God, he's taking it to the fence! What a fight! What a fight! And he's getting out and try to break him with his knee, even if David would be able to knee him, and he's getting out of the clinch. Yes! What an amazing fight from David. That's a heart of a line. Just compose yourself. Guillotine. Every time, every time that you do it in jiu-jitsu lesson, every time that you do it in jiu-jitsu practice, you know that if you would put your hands in the head in the wrong place while shooting, you would be caught in the guillotine. And this would just happen to Alexa, and he had the luck that he was able to pull it out. Because, and again, the guillotine, and he closed the leg, and he closed his other arm, and he tried to pull, and he's kneeing him. What a miss of a hook. If the hook, if it would have been able to tag him, well, if he was able to, to jump and close his legs over him, he might have uh, finished the fight. But whoa, whoa! What a combination, and now he took him to the, uh, we just hit. He tried and he was able to judo throw. We have less than 10 seconds in the match. In the second round, I'm sorry. Oh, and it seemed, it, it seemed that his shoulder just popped out after the, and unfortunately, 
The referee signals for the match over. I think we have a dislocated shoulder. At the end of the second round, our referee Ofer Lidar stops this fight by TKO. Your winner from the blue corner, Alexei!